the dark days of week 75, Paul and I have concluded for whatever. It's like when you see the temperature and it says it's 68 degrees, but it feels like it's 73. It's week four, but it feels like it's week 75, 78. Yeah, I, there. I didn't think it was possible to apply humidity to days, um, but here we are. Write <laughs> <laughs> the heat index. I feel, I don't know. You know, I work from home normally. And the mm -hmm. truth is, if you look at our schedule, um, we would not have been on any of the trips we're not going to go on yet. <laughs> you know? Well, and yet, um, maybe. Somehow, maybe. Right? I mean, mostly. Maybe. Well, we might have had a surface event maybe by now. Okay. But I mean, you know, but, the, yeah. the big stuff is still to come. Or, you know, is no yeah. longer to come. But. Yeah, it's not coming for a long time either. Like, we might not... Paul and I might not be hanging out unless we have like an intentional like I know. beach vacation I know. together or something. Uh, hey, listen, this goes on long enough. That could happen. I'll be walking around Disney with your kid. You guys can be <laughs> relaxing back at the hotel. It'd be perfect for everybody. My daughter wants to know where her estranged father went. <laughs> he's right. I mean, yeah. he came on the trip with us. How come he's not walking around with us? Yeah, Microsoft said there's no events, in-person events until after July, 2021 which means yep. no bill next year. Um, I, I, right. You had hinted or talked about this a bit, but I've heard from people as well that Microsoft is just basically, okay, we're going to do this all digitally. And then like everything could change when they actually start doing conferences again. They might kind of re... Right. Because if they're going to make this going to result in Ignite 2021 being the first thing they do, major. Mm -hmm. And that will be the plan going forward. Yeah. You know? that's, what, that's my guess. I, I'm And God, look at... I know it's it's rough. Here's just going to get worse every day, folks. Yep. It's, 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 and this is not getting any younger. Let's just yeah. put, <laughs> put, it, put it that way. So yeah. don't be surprised if once we get through this brouhaha that um, things are going to maybe be a little different than they had been. So what that means. Yes. Yeah. I mean, in the good news department, my wife says that our uh, weekly expenses are down dramatically. Oh, yeah. Uh, I haven't gone to Home Depot. Like, I, th there are things I need to get, like mulch. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe some. This is some real, this is like wringing the last bit of lemonade from the lemons we were handed. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, we got, uh, we got that PlayStation dropped their new controller yesterday, which looks surprisingly uh, mm, familiar. familiar. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, controllers we'll, by nature look alike. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, this thing is just bad. Like I... Yeah, so the re the reason that's bad, uh, it, it almost you must have, you have an Xbox controller nearby, uh, um, uh, yeah, because you have to kind of see them side by side to understand the problem. Like the it's kind of the see here. The, con the proportions of the PS controller, whatever they call it now, mm. are so small, and so it's just hard harder to hold. I mean, you and have to almost contort your hand to and do you got it. This one that like is in like the middle of it. Which is the yeah, stadium. and and you can see where the, where that was influenced by both of those controllers yeah. for sure. You know, Co copy my homework, but don't make it look the same. Um, is exactly what Stadia did. They copied a little from the PlayStation, a little from the <laughs> Xbox. That's right. They look left and right. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. It's rechargeable, which is I believe these are only rechargeable as well. Um, so if you I don't know, we're really mad at the Elite being rechargeable only. Don't buy a PlayStation because that's just what's going to be. The other thing too is that. Every single controller now includes a microphone, which makes me believe that there's going to be some sort of voice interaction component potentially. Good. PlayStation has basic voice interaction today, don't they? I, I don't know, actually. But it, so. they said, you can, hey, you don't need a, a microphone or a headset to play and chat with people online if that's... Really yeah, what you want. yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, I mean, honestly, that's pretty cool. I... Uh, boy, this is a distant memory, so I'm not going to get this exactly right. But the the that PS controller you're holding, I think, I think it does have a speaker in it, and and there are mm -hmm. games that actually put sound through it. It sounds terrible, mm -hmm. <laughs> but as I recall, if I'm correct, I think it's the PlayStation. And yeah. I think there was a Call of Duty game maybe that even utilized it, where you could hear one bit of information would come through the controller or something mm -hmm. like that. I, I don't. Know. Yeah, it's it's an interesting idea. Yeah, and they're getting rid of the share button and they're replacing it with the create button. Replacing it with an Apple ping button. <laughs> Facebook button. Yeah. Yeah, there should be a Netflix button on there just like every remote <laughs> right, on like the planet. Right, like a remote control. 
Um, anyway, I mean, it looks fine. It looks more ergonomic, so it's going to be an improvement to anybody who buys that. Um, yes. I, I think it looks fine. There's nothing really crazy about it. I think they're definitely moving in the right direction with it. I, I just think, yeah, no, I think the basic, like, volume of it is better. That's mm -hmm. the problem. The, 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 the old one is just too weird. Yeah. Too small. Well, the old one reminds me of kind of like the Nintendo 64 controller, but without, like, the middle udder. Like, it had that's yeah. just the two yeah, sides. Yeah, because it has those kind of wings almost, like they're, yeah. like, um, fins or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's what's been keeping you up at night about what the dual shock. Oh, well, it's also I, called the dual sense. Not dual shock, but dual sense. I'm in a weird position with gaming because the one game I like to play, mm -hmm. I was going to say the most, the one game I like to play, period, is better on PlayStation. Not because it looks better or whatever, but because PlayStation gets content first. And I don't yep. know if you saw this, but for example, um, when Modern Warfare 2 dro uh, Remastered dropped, PlayStation first, only for a few weeks, but they mm -hmm. just had an announcement. I think it's for what they're, they're calling Season 3 for the current Modern Warfare game. That stuff's exclusive on PlayStation until October. Oh, which October? stuff? October? Well, I thought, thought all of it was coming at Some Xbox. of it. I'm sorry. I should say some of it is. So yeah. some of the things that are uh, going to be, as this again, off the top of my head, but mm -hmm. um, the new maps, <laughs> right? Are they really? Uh, for multiplayer, uh, two of which, uh, two of the three are remakes of classic maps. Yeah, because Backlot's on there. Yeah, Backlot's one of them. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you the way to find this is to go to the PlayStation blog and look at the Call of Duty announcement and then look at the little asterisks they have about the, when cuz they'll say things are PlayStation exclusive mm -hmm. and it says until October or whatever the date is 2020. Hold on. That's cra that's I got a lot. I haven't seen the only thing I cared about is that they're finally bringing quads to Warzone which is good cuz that, that'll make my life a bit I don't, I don't know easier is the wrong quads word. Quads mean like Four people? Four people instead of yeah, groups four of people three. three. Yeah. Because yeah. the group of people I play with is actually about four people. So it's always one yeah. guy got voted off the island. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Sorry, Darwin. Yeah. And then te or teams. There's, there is teams news, which actually just showed up in the admin portal this morning that custom mm -hmm. backgrounds, which I kind of already thought were there, to be honest, but your like custom custom backgrounds which means like you right. can choose your own will be arriving officially in may so i think our good friend tony redmond has a tip about doing that mm -hmm. now if you want to yeah if i remember correctly. i didn't read it but um you know if yeah. you want to look like you're on a beach and it's the beach that you took the picture of um, mm -hmm. i think you can do it yep and then g suite has six million paying God, businesses just, this is just Take a bucket full of numbers, throw them up in the air, and then pick randomly from the floor and say it maps to something. Like, you remember, I don't know, a week or two ago, they said there were like over 2 billion G Suite users. Mm -hmm. But of course, they're counting um, Gmail, you know, free Gmail people. Yeah. Um, and, I, I, you know, active monthly users are just someone who mm -hmm. clicked on a link in Gmail and it opened something in Drive. You know, it's probably yeah. closer to the truth. So that number is nonsense. But... Uh, Javier uh, Soltero, is that the right name? Javier. Yeah. Javier um, left, was running Microsoft Street, Office 365 business, mm -hmm. left Microsoft to join Google, went to G Suite, and he just announced or via some interview that they have 6 million paying G Suite businesses. So those aren't users. Those right. are businesses with users, right? Mm -hmm. Up from 5 million about a year ago. Um. How does that map to Office 365? We don't know exactly. So the 200-something million active monthly users, monthly active users, mm -hmm. was the latest thing on commercial. We know there are 37 or 38 million paying consumers. That's mm -hmm. at the other side of the business. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there are there. I think Google is purposefully providing a different metric because they mm -hmm. don't want that direct comparison. Um, one publication claimed there was 60 million Office 365 businesses. I asked Mary Jo about this because I had never heard Microsoft ever make such a figure available and she confirmed that that is not the case. So she doesn't know where they got that either. But let's say that G Suite for all of its whatever, it's it's good. I mean, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, is still not nearly as popular or as, let's say, as successful as Office 365. Yeah. So, 
anyways, there's that. Uh, Microsoft also announced a pretty big updates to Game Bar, which is probably the best feature in Windows 10 that nobody is really using. Uh, yeah. But it's a great way. Yeah, they should have called it something else. I don't know. Only because, I was just like, thinking that because it, it extends beyond yeah. gaming. Yeah. It's almost like a... It's like a multimedia thing because it is great if you need to do a quick screen recording. You hit Windows key G and then you can record whatever's on your screen. It, it's really good for a lot of that stuff. Um, but there's a lot of updates, including yeah. plugins from like XSplit <laughs> and a bunch of other third parties just to kind of make it a better bit, a better bit gaming experience. Almost good English. Close enough. Be be better bit. Better bit. A better bit. I'm a little, you know, this podcast has been a, a better bit. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's kind of like, that's the highlights, right? There's, there's actually sizable stuff out yesterday, late yesterday after we, uh, we recorded. Was there? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't watch any Star Wars movies, so I can't really comment on any <laughs> of that stuff. <clears throat> I, w I once again spent a frustrating day on this UWP thing, and I, no. I'm, I'm trying to, I know, it's boring, it's terrible. I, mm -hmm. I If you think about something really simple, like you have settings, and you want to save them, and then you mm -hmm. want to load them when the application launches. Very easy to do in other frameworks. Um, it's actually pretty easy to do in UWP, except that it doesn't work re reliably, <laughs> at least in my case. And I've, I've done so many test applications where I just am working with settings and it seems to work fine. I go back to mine and it doesn't. So it's like, I obviously have a problem somewhere. So you, I just it, I just keep going down these things where like dynamic, you can dynamically populate UI elements like a drop-down box that has fonts in it. Very easy to do in WPF. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do it in UWP. I, I, it doesn't work reliably, and and for some reason, when you populate certain UI things, it changes the color of them. And there are things like menus and drop-down boxes and stuff where it doesn't match the theme anymore. And eventually, it's like you know what? I I just don't. I'm sure there's a you know a fix or something. I'm sure there's a way around this, and I just don't. I find myself not caring. Like it's just, yeah. it, it's just so frustrating. So I've just changed it. So I'm not doing it in, in a, a sophisticated way anymore. Like I don't use data binding on mm -hmm. any of these things because it's just too, it's just too um, unreliable. Yeah, you so should, you know, you know, UWP, it's great. I can't you should build your next that. app in uh, Silverlight. You know, just... <laughs> <laughs> Silverlight probably works fine. It's just that it's dead. Yeah. Yeah, you know, know. We all are a little dead on the inside, so. That's for sure. Yeah, that is for I sure. got to get past this, dude. It's killing me. I think we all kind of. I know. I know. I know. It's important that other people suffer with me. That's why I mention it. <laughs> I don't want you to think I'm not doing anything, you know, each day. I'm, I'm banging my head into a wall. Yeah, well, it kind of shows up in your, in your writing. We're not so <laughs> He spelled the wrong like seven times. I wonder. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's like, does he have brain damage? 